100 million dollars. Yes, that's correct. State Farm now has to pay 100 million dollars to resolve a fraud claim for the way they handle their insurance claims. Now, I'm not surprised as a lawyer who handles insurance claims professionally, but I thought you'd like to know some of the background behind why State Farm now has to pay 100 million dollars to resolve these fraud claims. This all came back from Hurricane Katrina, which is now 16 years ago. And as you may know from Hurricane Katrina, there was damage from wind blown issues, there was damage from flood, two different kinds of damages, one from water, flood, and one from wind. Now, State Farm only covers damage from wind. And as far as the flood, that would come under the National Flood Insurance Protection Program. What State Farm did is State Farm would go and pay money to their policyholder for a wind claim, and then State Farm would go back and submit that money, that claim, to the National Flood Insurance Program for reimbursement, saying that, oh yeah, now these damages are from a flood and not from a wind. State Farm paid for wind and then sought to get reimbursement for the government, saying now it was flood damage. Now, this all came out in about 2013 when one certain policyholder and some adjusters realized what was going on. They brought a claim against State Farm and ends up the jury came back and said, yeah, State Farm, you're fraudulent and made him pay like $750,000 uh, and damages and attorney's fees and all that kind of stuff. Well, then the government got involved in National Flood Insurance Program and thought, wait a second, if they're doing it to one person, there's thousands of claims here in Katrina. Let's check those other ones as well. And that led to more litigation. And now, 16 years later, guess what? $100 million that State Farm has to pay to resolve these fraud issues where they were paying their own clients and then sought reimbursement fraudulently from the federal government, i.e. you. Okay, because you are the federal government, you realize. Now, you have to realize how this affects you is that if State Farm is willing to defraud the government to the tune of $100 million, how much more willing are they to try to defraud you or Joe Blow on Main Street for any given claim they may have under their insurance policy for any kind of damage? Something to think about.